Hello, my name is Thayer Period, and here is how I remade the beat to Kamir by Jace, originally produced by Evasion 2K. Let's get into it. The first thing I remade was this main melody. Overall, a pretty basic sound. Here's how it sounds with no effects. So for our waveform, we start off with a sine wave, then we create this kind of pluck shape with our envelope 1. This controls the volume of the sound. Most notably, there is a decent bit of release, so when you are letting go of a note, it does not immediately cut off, there is a bit of a fade. Next most important thing is this LFO 1 is actually modulating the fine pitch of our synth, so the pitch is wobbling back and forth ever so slightly. As you can hear, it kind of has a wobble. If we turn this up, it'll become more noticeable. It's subtle, but it definitely does add to the sound. Next thing we have going on is our velocity is linked to the level of our oscillator. So in the piano roll, if you have the velocity of a note lower, as I do for some of these, it is actually playing that note quieter than a note with a higher velocity. It's just a good way to make it so you can control the volume of the individual notes so they do not all play at the same level. Finally, for our main things going on, we have the portamento turned up to 65 milliseconds, but we are not set to mono and legato, so there is a bit of a glide between our notes. But our sound is not monophonic, so multiple notes can be played at the same time, but there is also still a glide. For effects, I just started by cutting out our extra high end and low end with an EQ. Then just a basic one eighth note delay. Set to ping pong because I find that does add a nice bit of depth. And then finally, just a really basic reverb. The next thing I added was this pluck. Again, I made this in serum and it is very similar to the first sound. Here's how it sounds with no effects. Almost identical, honestly, to our first sound, but we actually have a triangle waveform instead of a sine waveform. But besides that, you'll see everything looks very similar. Similar shape, but just a lot less release for our volume envelope. And then we are set to mono in legato, so we can only play one note at a time with this synth, but there's also still a glide going on. For our effects, I started by running it through a soft clipper just to give it some extra body. Then an EQ to cut out extraneous frequencies that didn't need to be there, so aka our high end and our low end. Next, we have a 16th note delay, also set to ping pong. And then just a reverb to finish everything off and give it a bit more space. Next thing I added was this chorus pluck. Here's how that sounds with no effects. Again, this sound is pretty similar. We just have two saw waves, one pitched up an octave with the volume turned down a little bit, and then a similar kind of shape with our envelope one. And we are set to mono legato and have portamento enabled with 69 milliseconds of glide. For our effects, I started off by adding a tube distortion, just to give it some more body, then an EQ to cut out extra high end and low end that didn't need to be there. Now here's the most important thing in my opinion. There is a chorus on a mix of 100%. Makes our sound super kind of watery, waters down, and helps put it more in the background. Then just a basic delay and a reverb. Now for our final melodic element, we have this pad. Barely even noticeable, here's how it sounds. Essentially how I made this pad was by taking this main melody that I talked about first, then just recording it into Edison and then using the harmonic blur tool and it spit out this. Then for effects on that, I am just running it through an OTT, a case of RC20 with the no more boring pads preset, an instance of micro shift, and then just an EQ to get rid of extra low end that didn't need to be there. And finally a balance tool that I automated to add a nice kind of pumping rhythm to our pad. Next thing I added were the 808s. <laughs> crazy at all going on here. I'm just using the favorite plug 808. And then I also added a bit of a fade in so it has a nice kind of woo. I'm also just running that through a sausage fattener on 21% for our fatness and 22% for our color just to kind of give it some extra body. Then finally we have our drums. Nothing super crazy going on again, just this plug hi-hat with some descending pitch movement and a little bit of a roll here where we have the velocity fading out and in. Then we just have this filtered snare, this rim shot, and this clap. As I always do, I send all these to the mixer and then to a drum bus, 
where I ran them through the Groovy Glue preset in Proceed 2, and an instance of Drum Puncher in Radiator to just add some nice saturation. And yeah, that is everything. If you want access to the serum presets or the project file or the samples or the one shots of the serum presets from this remake or any of my 170 plus other remakes, you can get access to all of that on my Patreon at patreon.com slash prodpetterperiod. I will throw a link up on screen right now with movie magic editing skills. I try to make it super affordable so people can use it as a learning tool and it is also a great way to support me and help me keep doing this kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope this was helpful and useful and informative and I will catch you next time. Peace!